If you have translators who don't know how to use WordPress, you don't feel safe giving a WordPress account to your translators, or you are simply afraid they will break your site, you can simply order your translations in a spreadsheet edited with Excel or Google Sheets. As today we'll show you how to import translations quickly using the WP Sheet Editor plugin. This plugin allows you to translate thousands of posts, edit translations using an intuitive spreadsheet, export and import thousands of translations using a CSV file. We recommend you to translate first the categories and other taxonomies using our plugin taxonomy terms spreadsheet before importing your posts. This way, the post will be connected to the original and will be synchronized, as WPML will automatically synchronize the fields. You can find the link to download the plugin in the description of this video. Also, you'll find the link to our written guide. In order to import, the CSV file needs to be prepared, either you have hired a translator to edit the file, or you have edited it yourself, and it is best to have a CSV that contains the titles, URL slugs, content, excerpts, etc. already translated. So once you have the CSV file ready, you'll need to save it if you worked with Excel, but if you did it with Google Sheets, you will need to download it. As you'll see when you open the spreadsheet, the content displayed in it depends on the language you select in WPML. And since we are ready to import the Spanish translations of our posts, we'll have to open the Spanish spreadsheet in which we already have duplicates of the original posts. Then open the import tool. Select the source of the document, in this case the computer. Choose the CSV file that you'll import. And hit next. Select to import all the columns. If the translations existed in your site previously, you will select to update existing items. If the translations are new, you can select the option to create everything as new. In this case, we'll import information into the existing translations. So we'll select this option. Then you'll be prompted to enter a column from your CSV file and a WordPress field so that the new information can be entered into the correct post. In this case, we'll select the field record ID here, and ID here. And click next to go on. We'll now see a preview of what the post will look like once imported. So click here and your import process will start. In just some minutes, all the imported translations will be displayed in the spreadsheet. There is no doubt that WPML and WP Sheet Editor are the best integration to quickly create and manage multi-language websites. Remember that you'll find a link to the written guide, as well as the link to download the plugin in the description of the video. We have live chat support on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to find more video tutorials.